When the new Star Wars series, The Acolyte, premiered on Disney+, Plus, Disney was trying to boast about its viewership figures by saying that it's the number one new Disney Plus series to premiere this year, which essentially means that it just beat out Echo, a show that was a huge train wreck for the company and one that even the hardcore Marvel fans have pretty much forgotten at this point. But things got worse once they started to reveal the actual viewership numbers because even though they did look impressive on the surface, when you really start diving into them, you can see that it was performing worse than Ahsoka, a show that cost half as much to produce as the Acolyte did. And then their problems compounded once we started seeing the audience scores for the Acolyte, where on Rotten Tomatoes, it got to a crater of around 13% positive, which put this as the lowest rated audience score for any Star Wars series. And I'm not talking about just Disney Star Wars series. I'm talking about Star Wars series in general. And it looks like things have gotten even worse since then because apparently the viewers that they did have, even though as modest as they were, aren't sticking around to watch the rest of the series because we just had the fifth episode of The Acolyte and this was supposed to be a highlight of the series and to some respects it was and I will get more on that in a moment. But for the most part, it seems like audiences have just kind of checked out. I have this article from That Park Place talking about it, the headline. The Acolyte viewership declines for a second week in a row, nearly 60% decline from Ahsoka. As reported by Variety, viewership for The Acolyte declined to 232.2 million minutes watched for the week the show's fifth episode debuted. That's a decline of 11% from the previous week, which had a total of 262 million minutes watched. And it's not like anyone can use the excuse that this week's episode was shorter and that's why there's fewer minutes watched because... Last week's episode was 34 minutes and 2 seconds. This week's episode was 34 minutes and 5 seconds. So the only reason to account for such a significant drop off in minutes watched is because viewership has just checked out and there's less people watching it. The show hit its peak viewership with the release of its third episode, which introduced lesbian space switches, as well as replacement for the force called Thread. Viewership for the week, the third episode debuted, topped 380.5 million. Strangely enough, the worst week for the Acolyte was, in fact, the premiere week, which brought in 210 million minutes viewed for the first two episodes, which you would think for a two-episode premiere that it would average around twice as many views as the other weeks, but apparently that's not the case with this one, and this kind of fluctuates with the reviews for each episode as well. We have this right here from IMDb that's showing that, where for the first couple episodes, it's around 20,000 reviews for it, 18,000 reviews. And then it kind of goes down from there. Episode 4 had 11,000 reviews and episode 5 has 8.4 thousand reviews. So you can see the audience drop off in that as well. But also for episode 5, that's the highest rated one for the series. That's a 6.7 out of 10 stars on IMDb. And like I said, with 8.4 thousand reviews. Compare that to the worst rated one, which is episode three, and that's 3.5 stars out of 10, excuse me, out of 20,000 reviews, and that's one of the top reviewed ones. So it seems like it, the show came out, the first couple episodes premiered. Maybe people weren't aware, like, oh, wait, this is the week that it's coming out, and then they came back and watched it. And maybe they're lukewarm on it. They're willing to give it a shot. Okay, fine, that's fair. And then episode three came around, and that's where they whole did the lesbian space witches thing and at that point people didn't seem to like it and they kind of checked out even hardcore star wars fans were saying like okay yeah i'm out at that point that's <laughs> that's pretty bad uh right there episode four came around that was just kind of a nothing thing and in episode five it seems like audiences have basically just checked out at this point that could be accounted for why the score is so high because the only people who are bothering to watch and review are basically just the people who are willing to stick around and endure disney star wars which also just kind of destroys the review bombing argument too, because if people were review bombing, they would continue to do that. But since we see a fluctuation like this, well, then that suggests that the reviews are more genuine ones. And the only people who are actually willing to watch it are people who already are sold on it versus the first few episodes. The people who are watching are more general audiences and they just didn't like it. And that's why the overall score for it is pretty low. But this more or less marks the death of a franchise when it gets to this stage where people don't even bother to watch it, even hate watch it or anything like that, because at least anger is somewhat of a re emotion or a response to it. But what we're seeing right now, at least when it comes to this show is just outright apathy. We're also seeing that in other franchises like star Wars in general is just kind of 
experiencing this apathy. We're seeing that in the MCU as well. And audiences are just tired of it at this point. And this is when you've reached the death of a franchise, when you just have complete audience apathy to what you're doing, neither positive nor negative responses to it. They just don't care no matter what you do. For a while, I think a lot of these studios like Lucasfilm would try to rile up the fan base. That's why we saw before the Acolyte even premiered, they were starting to call out George Lucas Star Wars fans and saying that they're all bigots and other things like that. And I think it might help them a little bit because it does kind of stir the pot and, you know, the old expression, any publicity is good publicity or there's no, no publicity is bad publicity. I forget exactly. Just, I mean, it's the same thing either way, but I think that's kind of what they were going for, but it looks like as time goes on, it just doesn't work because people just don't care. And they've kind of taken the expression like, well, fine, if you don't want my business then I'm not going to give you my business. And that's why we're seeing such low viewership figures for this. I think people did sincerely give it a chance and they just didn't enjoy it, uh, even though it wasn't a huge amount of people giving it a shot. I think they've pretty much chased away the existing Star Wars fan base with this show. And I still maintain that I do believe that was ultimately the goal of what they were trying to do with this show. I think they're trying to excise the existing Star Wars fan base so they can bring in the Disney Star Wars fan base, the one they've been cultivating the last few years. Even though that's a pretty small subsect of the audience, I think that's pretty much all that they have at this point now. Is not enough for them to be profitable? Well, we can see that's pretty evident that it's not the case. Uh, those are such a small minority of the fan base that the only way they can actually be relevant and sustainable if they can cater to these people is if they significantly reduce the budget. And that's something I don't think they're going to do anytime soon. And that's why this is pretty much just signifying the death of Star Wars. And this show is just the greatest example of all that. But I could be wrong. Let me know what you think about all this in the comment section below. Do you think the Acolyte could actually redeem itself and actually bring back Disney Star Wars? Or do you think it's just too little too late? Because I think that's kind of where we're at right now. But hey, at least we still have the original Star Wars trilogy and they can't take that away no matter what. Uh, especially if you have physical copies. Oh, by the way, buy physical copies. And also, if you haven't already, make sure you click that subscribe button if you want to stay up to date with the latest entertainment news. And don't forget to click that like button and share the video out there because it helps out with the channel. Thank you.